yet Mars continued to entice explorers. In 1949, rocket pioneer Werner von Braun wrote Project Mars. It was a sci-fi novel, but full of factual engineering and a familiar plot. A multinational crew from Earth visits intelligent humanoid Martians as they desperately try to save their world. A year later, Ray Bradbury's Martian Chronicles placed a human colony on Mars to escape a nuclear war devastated Earth. The first thermonuclear bomb was tested in 1952. In the same year, von Braun published an enhanced Das Mars Project, adding a broad technical workup for a large-scale space program. After nearly a thousand launches of people, propellant, and parts, a flotilla of 10 spaceships and 70 crew members would journey across the gulf between planets to spend 444 days on Mars. Das Mars Project was a rough draft for what would become NASA's Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo projects. In 1955, Paramount Pictures released Conquest of Space, modeled on von Braun's adventurous plans. I can give you a confounded little reason for this attempt to reach Mars, and no assurance at all that it will even be successful. To successfully reach the red planet quickly, engineers realized, might take more power than chemical rockets can produce. At the U.S. Los Alamos National Lab, Project Rover began an effort to harness atomic fission to drive spaceships. The astronaut's crew capsule would be placed many meters from the radioactive engines. Getting to Mars faster would cut astronauts' dose of solar and cosmic radiation. Project Orion, a different approach to nuclear rockets, started in 1958. The idea, detonate nuclear bombs behind a ship to push it along. It's called pulsed plasma wave propulsion. Outrageous as it seems, this method could offer rapid transport to Mars and the rest of the solar system. Someday, a manned trip to Mars and return may become the mission assignment. To accomplish that assignment, Kraft Ericke, a visionary German-American engineer, introduced the idea of ganging together clusters of nuclear rockets. He thought his modular approach could bring Mars and Venus within reach as early as the 1970s. And he identified the most efficient launch windows to reach these planets. Ericke passionately believed that human expansion throughout the solar system is a fundamental right, and that we are at our most dignified when we apply the laws of physics to elevate and protect our individual freedoms. Ericke's and von Braun's visions would drive the Boeing company to propose the integrated manned interplanetary spacecraft concept in 1968. It bundled up to five nuclear thermal stages to propel astronauts and probes to the nearest planets. It would have cost half again as much as the Apollo moon program, but it might have delivered the first crew to Mars by 1986.